Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about building a guessing game in Ruby. So we're actually going to build a little game and it's basically a game where the user can try to guess a secret word. So we'll continually prompt the user to guess a secret word. And if they get it right, then they'll get a success message like, hey, you got the word right. And if they get it wrong, then we'll let them keep guessing. So they'll be able to keep guessing uh, what the word is until they get it right. So this should be kind of cool. And it, this will show us how we can use something like a while loop um, in order to build a little game. So down here, the first thing I want to do is create a couple variables. The first variable I want to create is going to be the word that the user has to guess. So remember, we're creating a guessing game. So we need to store a variable that has the word in it, right? So I'm going to say secret underscore word and this is just going to store that secret word and i'm just going to set this equal to draft so you know this could really be anything you want whatever the secret word is going to be for our game and finally i want to create one more variable this is going to be called guess and we're just going to set guess equal to the empty string for now so i have two variables secret word and guess and now that i have these two variables i basically want to create a while loop and I'm gonna create a while loop that's gonna continually loop through and ask the user for input. So I'm just gonna say while, and over here we need to specify a condition. So again, this while loop is gonna keep asking the user to input the secret word. And as long as they don't get the secret word right, we're gonna keep asking them. So I'm basically gonna say while guess is not equal to secret word. So as long as the user's guess isn't equal to the secret word, we're gonna keep looping. So down here, what I wanna do is print out a prompt. So I'm just gonna say puts, and we're just gonna say enter your guess. So this is gonna prompt the user to enter a guess. And what we wanna do now is we wanna store whatever the user guesses inside of this guess variable. So I'm just gonna say guess is equal to gets.chomp. And remember, chomp is basically just gonna get rid of that new line at the end of whatever the user enters. So essentially what's happening here is while they, the user hasn't guessed correctly, while their guess isn't equal to the secret word, we're just gonna prompt them again for the guess and the guess is just gonna get equal to whatever the user types in. So. Eventually what's gonna happen is they're going to guess the word correctly. And when they do guess the word correctly, then this condition's gonna be false. So we're gonna come down here and we'll basically just print out a success message. So I'll just say like, puts you won. All right, so this is a pretty simple program, but you'll see this actually allows us to build a guessing game inside of Ruby. So whenever we are getting input from the user in Ruby, we always wanna do it through the terminals or through the command line. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my command line down here and I'm gonna run our program. So it's just called draft.rb. So I'm just gonna type Ruby draft.rb and this will start executing our program. So down here you can see it's asking us to enter a guess. So I'm gonna come down here and I'll enter a guess. So why don't we just enter in some nonsense. So you'll notice as long as I don't guess the word correctly, as long as I'm not entering in the correct guess, the program keeps prompting me to enter a guess, right? It keeps asking me to do that. But here's the thing, if I was to come down here and actually enter in the guess correctly, so if I typed in like draft, now we should get a success message. So when I click enter, you'll see it says you won because we entered in the secret word correctly. So obviously this is a very simple program, but it actually works pretty well and it does everything that we want it to do. This is a very simple game. And one of the problems with this game is that the user gets unlimited guesses. They can keep guessing the word forever until they get it. And that's not the makings of a good game. What would be better is if we imposed some sort of a guess limit on them. So they can only guess the word a certain number of times, otherwise they lose the game. So let's go ahead and see if we can add that functionality into our program. In order to do that, I'm gonna to have to create a couple more variables. The first variable I wanna create is gonna be called guess count. And guess count is gonna basically tell us how many times the user has tried to guess the word. So I'm gonna create a variable guess underscore count, and I'm just gonna set this equal to zero because initially the user won't have guessed, so the guess count will just be zero. Now, down here, 
every time the user guesses, I want to increment the guess count, right? So down here, basically this code means that the user has tried to guess the word. So every time they do that, I want to increment the guess count. I just want to say guess count plus equals one, and this will add one onto the guess count. So every time they guess, we're going to increment that. And I want to create two more variables. The first one is going to tell us how many guesses the user can actually take. So it's going to be called guess limit. And why don't we just say the user has three guesses? So three strikes and you're out. So if they can't guess the word in three tries, then they're going to lose the game. All right, finally, I want to create one more variable. And this variable is going to tell us whether or not the user is out of guesses. So I'm just going to say out of guesses is equal to false. Because initially, the user is going to have three guesses, right? When the user reaches their guess limit, we're going to set this out of guesses variable equal to false. And then we'll be able to tell the user like, hey, you lost the game. All right, so now that we've created these variables, I'm just going to come down here. And inside of this while loop, we want to modify a couple things. The first thing I want to do is every time we ask the user to guess the word, I want to make sure that they're not out of guesses. In other words, I want to make sure that they haven't reached the guess limit. So I'm going to use an if statement to do that inside this while loop. The first thing we're going to do before we do anything else is just say if and we want to check to make sure that the guess count is less than the guess limit. So I'm going to if guess count is less than guess limit. In other words, if the guess count is less than the guess limit, then we know they have guesses left, right? We know that they have a certain number of guesses left and they should be able to keep guessing the word. So if this is true, then I want to allow them to guess the word. So I'm just going to take all this code and we're going to move it up here. All right. So if the guess count is less than the guess limit, if they have more guesses, then we're going to do all of this. Otherwise, though, in the situation where the guess count isn't less than the guess limit, then we know for a fact that the user is out of guesses, right? If they that means they have no more guesses. So inside of this else statement, what I want to do is I want to set that out of guesses variable equal to true. And basically this will tell our program like, hey, the user's done. They're out of guesses, right? We checked to see if they were eligible for another guess, and if they weren't, then we're going to say out of guesses is equal to true because they ran out of guesses. All right, there's one more thing we have to do inside of this while loop, and we have to actually modify the while condition. So over here, you can see we have our little condition, and we're going to keep looping while the guess is not equal to the secret word. But now that we've imposed the guess limit, there's actually one more situation that's going to cause us to stop looping, which is when the user's out of guesses. So I want to say I want to keep looping as long as the guess is not equal to the secret word and as long as the user is not out of guesses. So and not out of guesses. So we're going to keep looping through this loop. We're going to keep asking the user to input information. We're going to keep doing all the code down here as long as the guess is not equal to the secret word and as long as the user is not notice I'm using this exclamation point here out of guesses, right? So now we have our while loop set up, right? We're able to loop through here as long as the user has guesses left. There's one more thing we have to do down here. So before we just put you one, right? Before if the user exited out of that while loop, that means they guessed the word correctly. So we knew for a fact that they won. But now that we're imposing the guess limit, there's actually two situations where the user could exit out of the loop. The first situation is where they got the word right, in which case they won. The second situation, though, is that they ran out of guesses. And if they ran out of guesses, we don't want to tell them they won. We want to tell them they lost. So we can actually check to see which situation caused that loop to end. I can just say if, and I want to check to see if they're out of guesses. And if they are out of guesses, then I'm just going to print out you lose. But otherwise, if they're not out of guesses, that means that they were able to guess the word correctly within the certain number of guesses. So they win. So this is our basic program. And let's go ahead and test it and see if it works. So again, I'm going to open up the terminal. And over here, I'm just going to run the program. 
And actually, it looks like I'm getting an error here. Yeah, so I forgot to put an end statement down here. I always forget to do that. So always make sure that you put an end statement down here. And now we'll be able to execute our program correctly. So here we go. All right, so it says enter a guess. So why don't we just try to lose the game? So I'm just going to enter in one guess, two guesses. Now I'm on my third guess. So this is my last try. If I don't get the secret word on this try, I'm going to lose the game. So we're going to not get it, and it's going to say, you lose. So the program is smart enough to figure out that not only did we run out of guesses, but also that we lost. So let's try it now, but we'll try to win the game. So over here, I'm going to make a random guess, another random guess. So now we're on our last try. It's our last chance to get the guess. I'm going to type in the secret word, which is draft. And now the program's going to tell us, hey, you won. So we were able to win the game because we guessed within the guess limit. So that is basically this program. I know this is a lot of code, so I'm just going to step through it with you guys one more time just to kind of do a, a broad overview of what we did. That way you can get a better idea of what's going on. So we have these two variables, secret word and guess. And these two are pretty obvious, right? The secret word stores the word that the user needs to guess. Guess is going to end up storing what the user guesses each time through that loop. Right, so we're gonna keep looping through this loop as long as the guess is not equal to the secret word. And down here, we're basically gonna store whatever the user guesses inside of this guess variable. That was like the basic game that we built. Then we added these three new variables, guess count, guess limit, and out of guesses. Guess count is basically gonna tell us how many times the user has guessed. And so every time the user guesses, we're gonna come down here, we're gonna increment it, right? Guess limit is going to tell us how many times the user can guess. In other words, how many guesses they have available to them. And you'll see down here, we're using this if statement. So we're checking to see if the guess count is less than the guess limit. If that's true, if they still have some guesses left, then we're going to execute all this code. We'll let them guess. Otherwise, though, we're going to use this out of guesses variable and we're going to set it equal to true. That's going to tell our program that the user's out of guesses. Up here, we also added another condition inside of our while loop. So we're saying while the guess isn't equal to the secret word and while the user is not out of guesses. So that's going to allow us to control what happens in this loop. Then finally, down here, we're checking to see if they're out of guesses. So down here, there was two situations. The first situation was when the user ran out of guesses, so they lost the game. And if that's the case, we're just going to print out you lose. Otherwise, we'll print out you won. So that's the basics of building our guessing game. So now your homework is to go off and build a guessing game of your own. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.